Hi, big tractor power fans. This video comes to you from a Western Kentucky cornfield where a brand new model year 2020 Kloss 7500 TerraTrack Lexian Combine is harvesting corn. In this video, I'm going to climb up in the cab of this combine and take a look at all the new technology and product advancements that the company has made in harvesting technology. I'll visit with Jeff Gray, who has been with Kloss working exclusively on Lexian combines for the past 21 years. Jeff is the product manager for field support on Lexian combines in North America, and he'll share a lot of insight on the new technology in this machine. Before I climb aboard the combine and visit with Jeff, let's take a look at some quick specifications on the machine. The Kloss 7500 TerraTrack is manufactured at Kloss's combine plant in Omaha, Nebraska. It's powered by a Mercedes-Benz OM470 six-cylinder engine. It's rated at 402 horsepower and has a maximum horsepower rating for tough harvesting conditions of 462. This combine is equipped with a 305 gallon diesel fuel tank and features a 385 bushel grain tank. The grain tank unloads through a 32 foot long unloading auger capable of moving out 5.1 bushels of grain per second. The combine has a top travel speed of 25 miles per hour. The APS threshing system with the two rotors in this combine allows the machine to move up to 8,000 bushels of corn per hour. That's pretty impressive for a class 7 combine. Now let's climb up in the cab and visit with Jeff and take a look at all of the technology that helps this machinery run. I'm up in the cab of a Kloss 7500 TerraTrack Combine. We can see the 1230C corn head here. It's about to go into action. If we look out the front, we can see these wishbone fingers here, and they help guide the combine through the 12 rows of corn as it's harvesting. to feel its way down the row. You can see Jeff is steering the combine at the moment and once that takes position it'll be a hands-free operation. Now Jeff, this combine is using Ag Leader as its GPS setup? Yep, the, uh, we can factory install the Ag Leader in command. We can also make it factory ready for Ag Leader if the uh, farming operation already owns the, uh, the display and the GPS antenna. Um, we can also make it uh, Trimble ready from the factory. And then uh, it's also compatible with either the John Deere 2630 or the new 4600 displays. Um, that just makes it a lot more convenient for those farming operations that have been that have a preferred system to remain with that preferred system. Uh, keeps the uh, all the data consistent and helps out in their their management. Just 
the Ag Leader system helps map the field and show the yield and moisture and help the operator move across the field. And this is also a fully automated combine. Uh, you've got a lot of abilities here on the touch screen as well as your control. And one of the nice things is your auto control on the header here. As we go through a little dip here in the field, we can watch the header adjust to meet the contour of the field and continue to move ahead harvesting. And that's able to do it all on the go right here from your right. control. Yep, I can either do it manually um, or I, right now I've got auto contour engaged so it's doing it automatically as it, as it traverses over the terrain. So let's talk about the automated features of the combine. Okay. Uh, it's adjusting to the different crop conditions. We can look out here and see some pretty dry corn in the field and also some pretty green leaves and this combine is matching the conditions as it crosses them in the field. That's right, that's right. Yep, as uh, we travel through the field here, um, the, uh, the adjustments are being made automatically by the combine to, uh, based upon the feedback returned from the sensors, uh, primarily the, the uh, cruise pilot, but also the loss sensors to uh, one, keep loss at a minimum, um, as well as to adjust. You can see there's a lot of variability out here as we travel through the field. So you got a lot of green leaves, you got some very dry areas on the hillsides. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of different variability out here that CMOS Auto is picking up on and making the necessary adjustments on the fly. When you look up here on the monitor, we're going through some pretty good corn in the G60s right now. It's just uh, nice to have that feature to match the condition as you're moving in the field. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I've noticed my sieves have adjusted as well as my fan speed is adjusting and my rotor speeds have adjusted as we travel through here. Just going from the green conditions to the, the drier conditions. And then you'll probably notice it changed as we get into here as well. So what's neat thing, what's, what's unique about this is the, uh, this is doing it all autonomously. Um, this system actually learns as it travels through the field from those settings and adjustments that it does make. Um, it will test the limits of uh, some of the features as we travel through here to try to uh, attain a higher range or a new range of operation. The autonomous feature is very handy, but now if you need to go in and adjust things manually, it's very easy with this screen. Oh yeah, I can go into uh, one of the nice things is the uh, favorites button right here on the joystick. I'll tap my favorites button, and if I need to make an adjustment to the uh, uh, the header height, I'll just toggle up to the header height, and the trigger on the back side of the joystick will allow me to incrementally adjust the height of the header of the preset cutting height uh, without uh, turning off auto contour. So that's a uh, that's a nice convenient feature to have as well. And I can program, I can change any one of these to meet whatever my preference is. Uh, right now I got a feeder house speed, lateral tilt, header height, uh, fore and aft uh, pitch. Uh, I can center my uh, zero or center my steering, adjust my steering. Um, multiple features can be programmed right there, multiple functions. But also, if you need to jump over to something quick, you can just touch that part on the combine. Right, if I need to make adjustments to the header, certain features of the header, without actually having to go into the header icon and go through a menu, I just tap on the header, and that, all those features pop up. If I need to make adjustments to my end divider augers, I do that right in here. So it makes things a lot more convenient when you can access them all from the surface of the screen, rather than having to go into uh, uh, sub-menus. Oh, it sure does. It's a, definitely an impressive setup. Now, also, you have cameras on here where you, we see that you've got the one on the unloading auger. Yep. And yep. there's also on the screen, we can see what's happening with we the combine. Look out the, we can look out the back of the combine if we want. So we got the backup, the wide angle backup camera behind us. And I've also got up here on the top, I can look at my grain quality camera, which is one of the primary inputs going into CMOS Automatic. Uh, so it's giving us a snapshot of the grain traveling through the clean grain elevator. And that's another vantage point for the operator to either make adjustments or for CMOS Automatic to make the adjustments as well. Oh, very handy. Everything's right there at a touch of a finger to see what's happening or to make the combine work even better. That's right. One of the neat things about a Kloss Combine cab is the windshield wiper. It's mounted right in the center of the window by the steering wheel. And we'll see it 
spin around here to clean the entire window. So that's 360 degree action there. That's pretty neat. So we're coming up to the truck here and we're going to see the unloading auger in action. This is a 32 foot unloader. There's a camera mounted right here where we can see the end of the auger there. We'll watch it swing out to reach the truck. capacity. And we can look over here at the camera. You can get a good look right inside the truck. See where it's filling up. Here, a good view of the corn coming out of this 385 bushel bin at 5.1 bushels per second. swings away we can watch it drop back into position. The Claus Terra Track system really offers a great advantage in traction and flotation out in the field. It also provides an extremely smooth ride for the combine. Here we can see it going through some rolling ground in the field and you'll see how the track just hugs the contour of the field and rolls right over it. in the combine, Jeff talked about the auto contour system where the 30 foot head can automatically adjust to the contour in the field. Here's a prime example of that system as the combine comes across to drain in the field. Lexian's turbo chopper does an excellent job in managing residue, sizing it and redistributing it on the field, matching the width of the header out front. The 
Lexion 7500 TT harvesting corn in this video is equipped with a Kloss 1230C corn head. It is harvesting 12 rows of 30 inch space corn. The header is 30 feet wide. It's picking just the ears of corn off and processing and putting the grain up in the tank. And then the header brings the rest of the stalk down to the ground. A set of blades mounted underneath the header chop up the residue and expose the standing stalk to weather, which will help the decomposition process and prepare the field for next year's crop. When the field has been harvested and it's time to move down the road to the next field, the 385 bushel grain tank spin extensions fold down flat. This is important for easy travel down the road and also keeps weather out of the tank when the combine is not in use. I hope you've enjoyed spending time out in the field seeing the 7500 Terratrack Lexian Combine harvesting corn as well as learning about many of its features. I was extremely impressed with this Class 7 Combine. Watching it at work and riding in the cab, I felt like I was out in the field with a much larger Class 9 Combine. If you would like to learn more details about the functions and capabilities of this Kloss Combine, I'll put a link in the description area of this video to a 40 minute walk around tour of the Combine from top to bottom with Jeff Gray from Kloss. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.